Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. As I stated in my most recent video, I am definitely sick with something. I uh, most likely a chest cold that seems to be the bug that's making its way around the squadron at this very moment. So I figured I'd do a shave with something soothing. We're gonna do a legacy soap today. You don't see those very often. This one is D.R. Harris from the United Kingdom. It is eucalyptus. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a wonderful eucalyptus scent. Smells exactly like NyQuil. Believe me, I know. Oh, let's talk about the price for this. I think I paid around $2.30 for this. That seems to be the going rate for these kind of soaps. I don't remember where I got this one from. It was either from, uh, from the Razor Company or from Maggard. Both of those are good places to get samples. Uh, it's a, you know, commercial grade uh, shaving soap, so the ingredients list has a lot of long words in it. About the only thing you need to know about it is that it's a non-tallow based soap. And I'm going to use it. That's what you need to know, is I'm going to use that thing. Okay, the aftershave is going to be the Mirasol Metal Sol, the same aftershave we use on every sample video. And then we do have the Razorock Lupo 58, as always. I've been using this a lot lately, and I've been enjoying it, so I'm going to keep on using it. 0.58 millimeter blade gap in stainless steel. Let's take the Maxpedition blade bag and shake it all around and pick a blade. Please give me something good. I am not in the mood for this. What's this one? Oh, lucky me. Got a Gillette Silver Blue. This looks like an old one. I don't think they come packaged like this anymore. Gillette Silver Blue. Wonderful. So thank you, Lord, for that. And then the brush is going to be this 24 millimeter AEP Shave Co. Uh, I believe this color combination is called Night Sky. 24 millimeter uh, SHD, oh my God. Let's try that again. 24 millimeter G5C Synthetic. I believe these knots come from Japan. So, good stuff. All right, let's do this thing. Got the usual two days of growth on the face today. <clears throat> and 
And the D.R. Harris Eucalyptus lathered into the Langley City Shave Bowl with plenty of lather to go around. This stuff is actually surprisingly fuel efficient. Uh, if you get a full size tub of it, it's kind of expensive, but, uh, but a little bit goes a long way. Okay, let's put it on the face. And the sense strength is uh, a no joke four out of five on the sniffle meter. It definitely uh, projects. It is a very medicinal scent, so do keep that in mind. Okay. Now, Gillette Silver Blue inside of the Razor Rock Lupo 58. Let's do it. So, I just got done having a copyright fight on YouTube. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I actually license all my music. So the music you hear at the beginning and the end of the video and during the lathering process, all that is licensed. I actually buy a license for that. So that if I ever decide I want to monetize, every single one of my videos can be monetized. Uh, well, there's these ad share agencies, I guess is what you would call them that have a lot of this music registered on their books. And whenever you upload a video, even if it's not public yet, it's waiting to go live like a few days from now, YouTube obviously will scan it. And then if they find music that uh, is like on these registries, well then that particular ad share agency will file a copyright claim against you and it'll happen like instantly. Like, uh, it did it on, uh, this is freaking hilarious. It did it on the Declaration Grooming Unconditional Surrender video for the music that was playing during the lathering process. So, um, before the video even went live, I had a copyright claim. And there's a process that you have to go through to, uh, to fight that stuff because I have a license, I got a receipt, I got a license number, I got everything. And so they filed, they filed the copyright claim against me and I disputed it, which is the first step that you take. And they apparently reviewed it and upheld their copyright claim, which was frustrating because I gave them all the documentation they needed. And so I, uh, the next step is to do what's called an appeal, where you appeal their decision. And uh, just like the first time when you file a dispute, they have 30 days to respond, and they responded pretty quickly. And then when you file a, a uh, appeal to their decision, they have another seven days to respond. And they also denied the appeal. I'm like, you lying sons of bitches. So when your appeal gets denied, you could end up with a copyright strike. Uh, in this case, somehow I managed not to get a copyright strike, which is interesting. Uh, and then after that, your only uh, option is to file what's called a DMCA counter notification. which is basically me telling the ad, sh ad share agency that filed uh, the copyright claim, I'm basically me saying to them, I'm getting sick and tired of this. You need to either drop the claim or you need to file a lawsuit. 
And so I, I did that. I filed the DMCA counter notification, and finally they, they released their claim. It was just like, really? We had to go through all this for you to do what I knew you were going to do in the first place. And by the way, all this because they wanted to uh, take uh, YouTube uh, revenue away from me to give to them when I'm not even generating revenue. Like, I'm not monetized. So... They were put in a position where they almost had to file a lawsuit over YouTube revenue that I'm not even getting. Like, how stupid is that? But I won, so that's all that matters. This soap is actually pretty freaking slick stuff, not gonna lie. It's been a while since I've used uh, DR Harris. I used to use Truffit and Hill a lot, but uh, lately I've been, I've been using a lot of artists and stuff and not a lot of legacy products. This is a very medicinal take on eucalyptus. If you're expecting this to smell like Prorazzo green, that is not quite what this is. In fact, I would say that Prorazzo Green is a better eucalyptus scent. If we're all things are being equal and we're just talking about legacy soaps. But yeah, primary and residual slickness on this stuff is nothing to joke around about. So if you can deal with the fact that it's kind of expensive stuff, it's actually pretty easy access. You can get this stuff on like Amazon. You can get DR Harris almost anywhere. <clears throat> but it smells good. Clearing up my sinuses, that's for sure. All right, let's... Uh, Attempt to quit while I'm ahead. Let's do a rinse. Well, awesome. Sometimes things just go according to plan. Okay, let's do the aftershave. Okay, time for the Mirasol Metal Salt, and then my final thoughts on Dr. Harris Eucalyptus. Wow, oh, lovely. Feels absolutely phenomenal. This has kind of a medicinal smell too, if we're being honest. Okay, my final thoughts on DR Harris Eucalyptus. If I exhausted this, well, I'm not gonna, well, I could exhaust this to, a, to an empty tub pretty quickly now, couldn't I? <laughs> wow, I am not on top of it today either. Uh, is this good enough to buy a full-size tub? And for this particular scent, I'm gonna say no. I, I'm loving it right now because I really don't feel good. And it's kind of got some soothing qualities to it that are uh, taking the edge off just a little bit. But under normal circumstances, uh, I think I would get a different scent from DR Harris. I think I might actually pick up one of their tubs, even though they're kind of expensive, because this is a pretty good feeling shave. Like, that's that's that was slicker than some artisans I've used recently. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not lying. I can't make that up. It's it was a surprisingly good experience. I haven't used a Dr. Harris in a while, but this scent is a no go for me. All right, that's the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching. Okay, what do you think? Is that good enough? <laughs>